Hello everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to see 16 awesome types of transport from bikes to cars. I hope you fastened your invisible seatbelts, but if you are really driving now, check that they're secure. After watching, like this video, subscribe to the channel, and make the bell button gray so you will not miss on the next episode. And let's go! A couple of weeks ago, I came across one video about a Japanese inventor who has been working on very strange developments for a long time. It turned out that he has his own mini hydro scooter laboratory, where he creates something incredibly cool. I'd like to try riding his hydro scooter and see what he's assembled, but this is damn dangerous, because who knows what he has invented there. However, despite a strange name, Hideyasu Itu is popular among the locals, as old ladies constantly come to him to fix their TV remote controls. But we've just started, so this is not the time to relax. And for those who dream of a motorhome, I will show one luxurious housing created exactly according to your wishes. Inside, there's everything you need for a comfortable stay. A shower, a toilet, a spacious kitchen with a gas stove and a wash basin, a bedroom, and a place to relax with friends. And if you're fond of traveling by bicycle, you'll definitely like it. A special garage for bikes is built in here, where you can also store things for a picnic. Well, of course, there's a trailer for the car in the back, as it's almost impossible to go on vacation without it. Dan Bush built an incredible bike for the new presentation of the Guinness Book of Records. Unofficially, it was nicknamed the Monster Bike. He used one huge tire as wheels. Yes, you understood everything right. The unit itself is installed on one wheel. For balance, a frame with two small double wheels is welded to the rear parts. I don't think that this bike can be used for its intended purpose on an ongoing basis. Here, the person simply set the goal of getting a record, and he succeeded. I don't think that in everyday life it's convenient to ride it on city streets, but as a museum piece or an interesting item, it's great. Head Turner Customs and Sparks Motors introduced the four-wheel drive hub-centric diesel bike. Its characteristics are WS EPO, 3 horsepower, 196cc, IDI swirl chamber. It also has Kome TAV2 torque. The prototype frame was the Schwinn Kokomo, but it was later modified to fit the giant fat tire mountain bike. A super fast, lightweight, and maneuverable vehicle was created specifically for conquering off-road trails. The powerful treads on the wheels provide reliable traction on surfaces of various types, from watery clay to sand. And now we have a moment of nostalgia. I'm sure many of you will shed a few tears, as I'm going to say obvious things. There are big cars, there are small ones, there are red, blue, black, and even yellow ones. And all cars are different, but not all of them are beautiful. Some of them are, to put it mildly, quite strange. Just as strange as our capsule car today. The Panther Mobile was created specifically for the show. The car was designed by Jay Orberg. This is the same man who designed the Batmobile, the Black Pontiac for the Knight Rider, and the DeLorean from the Back to the Future trilogy. Although the car didn't turn out to be very good, Mr. Jay's merits allow us to talk about him as a person who provided a happy childhood to many of us. Write in the comments if you remember that cool series where the main character was driving a talking car that helped him catch bandits on the road. In the meantime, while you're compiling your thoughts, let's look at the car assembled by hands in the garage by a local jacks of all trade. This truck is a small copy of the Model A Roadster, which was previously developed by Henry Ford back in 1927. The peculiarity of the project is that the car was assembled not on the line, but at home, literally with the help of a hammer and scrap. Most likely, the mechanic spent a lot of time and effort to create this unique car. But the result is astonishing. By the way, homemade items are always admirable. They seem to show that with creativity and determination, you can create anything. And for this, only your desire is enough. An annual competition among cars are held in the USA. People from every state prepare exhibition items in the form of copies of legendary cars. This guy put his soul into this Ferrari miniature. In the original, this is the AC Cobra 427, produced in 1965 with characteristics that were cool that time. The model became a collector's item because Shelby produced only 260 cars. Initially, they were equipped with a 2.6 liter engine. Later, it was replaced with a V8. There were three re-releases of this legendary car. It's not surprising that the guy decided to make this particular copy. Can you see these two faces? Guess which way I'm going. The owner and the designer of this car obviously has a sense of humor. I wonder how many motorists he managed to scare on the highway. Eric, the car owner, was looking for a noticeable advertising for his business. But neither an airship nor a hot air balloon inspired the designer. 
and then he came up with the idea to connect two Chevrolets. Both parts of the car are almost identical, but you can only drive in one direction. The rear part is actually a dummy with a fake driver. This car has one of the largest trunks. In fact, all technical parts were removed from the hood so that space was left for luggage. Eric really attracts attention when he's driving on the roads. People take pictures of the car and want to know about his story. So, he was quite able to create a cool outdoor advertising. Next in line is a futuristic house on wheels worth $3 million. Yes, this motorhome is really worth the money due to the fact that the vehicle is hand assembled. Each detail is made to order, so the price is appropriate. But this is the biggest investment you can imagine. The rich interior immediately catches your attention, and every element here conveys an atmosphere of exclusivity. From the outside, the bus may not look impressive, but this is just a matter of taste. The main thing is that inside is completely ideal and offers wonderful comfort. I'll say one thing, there's no law against living the good life. Never grow up is the slogan of the company that develops this mini motorcycle drift truck. The guys from Street Sports united into a powerful community and began to create awesome items. Collecting cool bike tracks, sewing cool clothes, patches, and stickers is truly a mission. Having recovered from a serious accident in 2012, one of the founders of the company decided to use all his knowledge in the field of motorsports and build a mini bike for drifting. His first video of this vehicle that he had posted on YouTube went viral and thus the hobby turned into a separate industry. Each bike is equipped with powerful drift wheels and a gasoline engine. The guys tried to assemble the cars as safe as possible. I'm not sure that they will be able to be fully driven on the highways. Seems that they are rather niche vehicles. A car-obsessed customizer, Sean Cormier from Ontario, Canada, spent five years creating a car which name is a pun on Frankenstein's monster. The hot rod is built on a basis of 1994 World War II-era gun with a Chevy transmission, small block of Chevy Turbo 350 trim, a standard four-speed gearbox in the rear parts, and a 1947 cabin. This is the Mercury truck. It really does look like Frankenstein. I think if Sean had troubled himself to paint the cockpit or polish the parts, this Tankenstein would have looked much nicer. Although, maybe the designer tried to maintain authenticity. I don't know. And here, there is a Google company bike. The company offers it to its employees for moving around the campus. It feels like they took a children's carousel and attached a couple of steering wheels and pedals, right? The cool thing about this invention is that it can transport up to seven people at a time. It has a large trunk basket, which can easily accommodate groceries or backpacks. The main shtick of this transport is that not all road users look in the same direction. I think it's a bit difficult to ride a bike while sitting with your back to the traffic. Are you ready? Because I'm about to tell you about a motorcycle that will make your eyes pop out. Yes, I'm not kidding. This bike has tracks like your neighbor's tractor. And what about its name? I'll give you a hint. It sounds like a furry animal. And no, it's not a polar fox, although you were close. It's a hamster. It's a strange name, but as they say, you don't choose your name, just like you don't choose your parents. The tracks give the bike such grip that you can ride it anywhere. Absolutely anywhere. Swamp, sand, mud, snow, ice. There are no barriers for this monster. No roads and no weather can stop it. Do you want to go get some quarter liter bottles of vodka for your friends? A human drone. This development was made by some startuppers. The guys assembled the car in just three weeks. As stated by the developers, the device is capable of continuous flight without a passenger for about 10 to 15 minutes. In total, there were about three versions of the winged aircraft. Initially, there were several malfunctions, but the guys finally managed to fix all the bugs, and lo and behold, the device started flying. There's no such thing on an industrial sale yet, and to be honest, I don't think it will appear soon. Flights on such devices require special training and special safety precautions. And now I'm going to show you another house. There's a helipad installed in it instead of a garage. I really don't know why somebody needs a house on wheels if he has a helicopter, but well, okay, the rich have their quirks. So the upper deck serves as an entertainment area, a lounge, a hot tub, and a helicopter landing pad. And to tell the truth, now I somehow feel uncomfortable calling it just a motorhome. There's also a fireplace, a fully equipped kitchen, including an induction stove, a convection microwave, a dishwasher, an oven, and two refrigerators for food and wine. Damn, not everyone is lucky to have such a set in their apartment. But if this is still not enough for you, there's a smart toilet and smart shower inside. Now I don't even know what else I could surprise you with. 
but let's move on from dream to reality. Here's a mini boat that can be ridden by both children and adults. Firstly, the boat is electric, which makes it very quiet. Secondly, the boat is light and maneuverable. And thirdly, its design will not leave any parent indifferent. I'm sure this is exactly what everyone was dreaming of in childhood. After all, I'm not the only one who still remembers that metal car with a steering wheel and pedals, right? Write it in the comments if you had the same. I wonder how many of us did. Theo Janssen's kinetic sculpture inspired a group of American designers to create a walking bicycle. As a part of the startup, the guys assembled a whole team to develop a strange monster. It was decided to make the main parts on a 3D printer, while the frame, the chain, handlebars, and the front wheel were taken from a regular bicycle. The construction includes about 450 unique parts, and about 700 hours were spent on its development. As a result, the first demonstration that took place in 2015 was successful. The walking mechanism completely replaces the rear wheel, which reduces the basic speed of the vehicle. This device is suitable for lovers of leisurely walks. Well, while you are writing, I will tell you about $750,000 that move along the roads and bring joy to their owners. Now, I'm talking about a motorhome with an unusual design. The modern interior is very different from the options we saw earlier. A bunch of different cabinets, a refrigerator with two compartments, a dishwasher, a bathroom, and a sitting area. All this you can find in a small van. But the most interesting feature of this motorhome is the transparent roof over the sleeping area and a super smart system that allows you to control the electronics and the microclimate while you're traveling. Well, they couldn't do it without a built-in garage with a racing car, which you can take for a spin if you suddenly get tired of traveling. Now, kidding aside, since here there is not some kind of a skateboard with chicken legs, but a real spaceship on an air cushion. It is so fast that even Elon Musk and his starship are jealous. When you ride it, it feels like you're flying to the moon rather than driving down the street. And the most interesting thing is that it runs on a battery, just like your favorite TV remote control. Just don't forget to wear a spacesuit. Otherwise, your stylish clothes may be damaged by cosmic dust. But seriously, I don't see any real use of it. So this toy can be safely stored in the garage. ETH Skewo startup has created an electric wheelchair that can climb not only stairs, but also common obstacles such as curbs, tram tracks, grass, mud, or stones. The design of the wheelchair was developed not only as a stylish accessory, first of all, the developers took into consideration the needs of a modern person. The device has an expanded range of functions, a folding mechanism based on a rotary hinge, its electrical cables are hidden inside the body, and it also has intuitive armrests for easy seating. And today's video, we will finish with a tractor from a homegrown engineer from Minnesota. He proved that children can also drive a truck, at least a smaller copy of it. But this only makes the experience even greater. What really stands out is the design. The truck is made in the style of a tractor from the Swedish company Scania, with all the small details that make it look like a real car. I guarantee kids will feel like real truckers driving this big vehicle. According to Arthur Hayes, the author of this wonder work, it's quite safe to ride such a mini car. Therefore, if you're looking for a perfect gift that will delight your child, then this item's for you. By the way, if you find where to buy a mini tractor, share the link with us. I think many of my subscribers will be interested to know how much such a toy costs. Now you can see a concept car from Mercedes. As conceived by the chief engineers of Mercedes, the futuristic concept of the presented electric car unites a man, nature, and a car in a unique way. Do you know what served as the main philosophy for the creation of this car? The movie Avatar. Or rather, its main line that runs like a golden thread. A person reunites with his Ikron and controls the power of thoughts. The Mercedes Vision electric car is a new generation of intelligence. It is something like controlling the power of thoughts. The instrument panel is connected to the driver's head and responds to signals from the brain. According to the company's idea, it will be especially useful for people with disabilities, since it does not require either touch or voice commands. The car is not yet available for sale, and its release dates have not been announced. And while you're trying to guess, I'll tell you about today's most brutal motorcycle. I think you've already guessed that it doesn't have ordinary wheels. Instead, tracks like tanks have are installed. The bike looks aggressive and just as powerful. It is sure to grab attention wherever you go. The bike is designed for those who are looking for extreme experiences. And with these tracks, it's able to overcome any impassibility. And you know, this is the best way to get a charge of vivacity during the weekend. Driving it in an open field or somewhere far away. By the way, such a toy doesn't cost much for adults. You just need to spend a week of time and use a little creativity. 
And today's selection ends with a motorhome based on an Iveco minibus. The spacious living room with two pull-out sections provides more place for relaxation and entertainment. The interior, made of high-quality materials and design solutions, gives this motorhome a special charm. It has everything you need for a comfortable stay and travel. Full kitchen with modern utensils, a comfortable bedroom, a bathroom, and a leisure zone. There's even room for a small sports car, which I obviously didn't expect when I would started watching this video. Therefore, anyone who's looking for the best of the best will definitely like this motorhome. This is a concept sports car from BMW that can change its shape due to what's underneath its frame. The body is literally covered with fabric, and there are small steel beams and computer-controlled hydraulic mini installations inside. Gina can change the shape of side rails, spoiler, and bumpers in sport and city styles. Also, the doors of the car open the same as in a supercar, only opening and closing the doors looks as if the car is exploding and its headlights also extend. There are no seams in it at all. Well, at least they're not visible. This supercar has been developed since 2001 by BMW chief designer Chris Bangle and Danish car designer Anders Warming. And here, there's a fully ballistic and super lightweight premium motorcycle. The chassis, commonly used in missiles, spacecraft, and other defense applications, uses 7075 aluminum which has excellent mechanical properties such as high strength, toughness, and high fatigue resistance. Its power is 900 to 1200 cubic meters, 74.1 horsepower at 7500 RPM, 102.6 horsepower at 7250 RPM. It has a chain drive and a 5-speed gearbox. This is a futuristic, powerful, urban transport for thrill seekers. Well, this is not an ordinary motorhome, but a whole hotel on wheels. Have you always dreamed of traveling with a large group of friends? Then this option will definitely be for you. By the way, this is the only motorhome in the world that can accommodate up to 10 people at once. Besides, everyone will have their own place where they can relax after a busy day. A leisure zone, a bathroom, a large kitchen, and even a terrace. This hotel has it all. Let's not only talk about some big vehicles, let me show you a super compact SUV with motorhome functionality. At first glance, you can't say that the car can be used for an overnight stay, but the creator of this miracle vehicle proved the opposite. The car turns into a comfortable campsite for two people in just a few minutes. A tent, a marquee, a shower, and a mini kitchen will make your trip memorable and comfortable. What else do you need to go to some nice place on a Friday evening? I think it's a good idea. Anyone who likes to go for vacation like this, put a plus in the comments, so I will see how many romantics are among us. Let's not stop, because now we have the coolest and most gigantic shopping cart riding around Chicago. This 3 meter grocery basket is perfect for a shopping trip. Do you also think where to put all that junk that you bought at the store on Friday evening? Then here's a simple solution for you. This cart has space for 165 bags of food. You can create a real grocery Armageddon in it. No, you don't have a double screen, you're just looking at twin brothers. Jeff and Mike from Waterboro. At first, the brothers wanted to build cars just for fun, but after the 9-11 tragedy, their focus shifted to creating vehicles with a purpose. Now they design and manufacture vehicles to army standards. Jeff and Mike say, if you can drive a car, you can drive a rear saw. By the way, if you watched Fast and Furious 8, you probably saw this tank that Chris Ludacris Bridges was driving. This is also Jeff and Mike's development. Now look at this giant SUV, a Bigfoot, whose height is 4.7 meters. This dream boat was built by Bob Chandler, who is one of the founders of the monster truck sports movement. It all started with Bob's mad desire to travel to as many interesting places as possible. So he installed larger tires on his pickup truck, welded the axles, and realized the big tires needed a powerful engine. With this creation, he began to take part in various competitions, mud hill climbing, exhibitions, pulling trucks and tractors. One day there was a car accident and this show amazed the spectators and made the crowd go mad, and thus the sports movement the monster trucks appeared. Bob's final car is a ride with 10-foot wheels taken from a land train in Alaska. There are also single-ton tires, 5-ton axles, and 16-inch gas shock absorbers. The Big 4-5 has become the world's largest monster truck. The owner of a company producing custom limousines once got an idea of creating a limousine in the shape of an airplane, and he managed to make it. I just wonder where these crazy ideas come from. The length of this ride is 12 meters, and the height is 3.5 meters. The construction is mounted on 28-inch Diablo tires. 
It has custom fiberglass fenders designed for real aircraft. Most of the suspension came from a one-ton pickup truck. Some of the lighting was taken from a Jeep, and the rest of the parts were custom. Overall, there are about four vehicles combined in this airplane limousine. Inside, the car is equipped with the latest technology. It has four video panels to monitor the dimensions, a powerful video player for passengers, a stereo audio system, a mini bar, and LED lighting, everything as it should be in a limousine. It took the guys about a million dollars to create this winged masterpiece. Well, that's all guys. Share your impressions in the comments.